of the Concords. I like we're fight of the Concords. Hey. Yeah, we're the fourth most popular folk parody duo in <laughs> New Zealand. G'day, my name's Tony. On behalf of myself and the coach line, I'd like to thank you for choosing to drive with us today. I'm a bit of a local, hope I can impart some of my local knowledge. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate just to sing them out. Those who are interested, swaying away to the right there, that's the old bridge. That was replaced by the new bridge in 1972. Yeah, funny thing, the old bridge used to be called the new bridge. Yeah, it's a bit of a funny one. Um, up ahead, there's the Bronzer Bluey, a local sheepdog who became a member of Regional Council. It's a bloody great day for dogs, not just here, but throughout the entire country. Yeah. Uh, there's the town's oldest street up ahead, and that's the Museum of Meat. Um, the town's largest industry. Of course, that's the sock factory, hence the giant sock. The town hall. And note the mosaic wall. There are 5,600 tiles on that wall. I know, I counted them all. A local school, a local swimming pool, which was opened by the Governor General back in 1952. Where I was caught with a friend, aged 11, sniffing tractor fuel. We thought we were pretty cool, breaking them, changing chat rules. What do you see up there? The banner hanging in the air. The Presbyterian Fair. Well, I never go, there's too many Presbyterians there. But if you're interested, the fair's in the third weekend of August every year. But don't bother entering the raffle, it's always won by some kid off the mare. Well, do you hear that sound? The town clock heard from anywhere in town. Until 1960, it was a little place in Norway. We bought it for a hundred pounds. Rumour has it they sold it cheap because the chimes were too loud. But every time I hear that sound, it makes me so proud. Well, look to your left, what a beautiful sight. It's Paula, Paula Thompson. Need Paula right, look at her hair. Well, it's still gorgeous even now. Flowing like the Waimahunga River, which incidentally is to your right. <laughs> And is the largest in the area in terms of volume. Everybody, look at Paula, look at Paula Thompson. I always thought I'd marry Paula, but some things just don't work out that way. Well, that's the most important thing you'll learn on the tour today. That and the fact there'll be a toilet break at the information center near the man-made lake. Uh, just ask you one favour. Um, if you do see Paula in town later on, I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention the details of my tour. Uh, same goes for my wife Gloria, who you'll recognise because she looks a hell of a lot like Paula, actually. <laughs> yeah, but um, well, she's not Paula, that's for sure. No. Oh, she's not Paula, no. Paula Thompson, born in '54, to a family of four. To the family next door, take me back next door. Paula Thompson, need Paula right. That's her old house, number 39. Number 41 was mine. If this old coach could go back in time, I drive to 1979. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Take, 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 take me back. Take me back. Sorry about that. Uh, just, I, I just get a little bit carried away back there on the corner, but uh, a bit emotional. But that is the end of the tour. So yeah, mind your step, enjoy your stay, and um, we're good on you.